how on earth does this work? Oh, there he is, got him, yep, that's good. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Holy smokes, check us out. We are at the flea market today. We're over here at Third Monday Trades Days in McKinney, Texas, and we're gonna hunt for some antique fishing lures. We're gonna try and find some stuff that's off the wall you've probably never seen and take them out to the local ponds, maybe hit a lake and try and catch some fish on them. But we found a booth tucked away in the back corner after searching basically the whole mall. And uh, we came across something I think you guys are gonna really like. Join us now real quick. Look, <laughs> y'all. As I said, we went through every aisle and we finally found at the last second a whole slew of old antique fishing rods. Some of them like missing eyelets broken. <laughs> and then look at, look, look at this. Look at that reel seat. It's recessed. I don't know what type of reel that we have that could even fit on this thing, but I'm thinking about picking it up. Look at this. You loosen this piece and then you tighten it down on your reel. Never have I seen anything like this. We might have to grab this. I mean, come on. Look at this, like, antique spoon. And then, is this is this for musky? I feel like we have to get it and try and throw this for bass in today's episode. Absolutely insane. And this is a steal. It says two for five dollars. Like, we're making it like bandits. I might grab this whole tackle box. Look, there's a paddle tail swim bait. There is an old, it's like a whopper plopper meets a buzz bait. It's got a blade out in front of it. I don't know. It looks like it's kind of broken and doesn't want to operate correctly could we catch a fish on this maybe we have to modify it and just fish it like a, a stick bait on the surface maybe i just take that blade off this could be an insane top water eat look it's missing a hook can we even make this thing happen i have a feeling they're going to bend out but look but wait there's more look at these old poppers oh my gosh fall top waters in full effect we need to talk to somebody we got to find the checkout how many are you thinking i'm thinking I was gonna see if I get everything in this box. Would y'all mind a few extra bucks if I just get the box too? <laughs> that would make it easy on me. And then I might get this. I don't know what y'all price it at though. This, oh, this rod. It's five bucks. Five bucks. Oh yes, sir. So about twenty-five in the baits. Five for the pole to make it thirty. Oh, Thirty-five. Bucks. Thirty-five. Okay. Yeah. We'll we will gladly do it. I don't want to have to carry all these yeah, sure. hooks in my hand. <laughs> 35, is that right? That's it. All right. Thank we you really appreciate, appreciate so y'all. No, thank you guys. We're excited to try some of these out. Well, good. Right. Good luck. <laughs> thank you so much. We found another station. This is apparently the fishing aisle. I'm looking for like an antique reel. Okay, so after browsing, I think we found all the fishing gear there is. Uh, by the way, if you're in the market for a new prop, we got you covered out here. Anyways, y'all, we're gonna hit the water. We got all the goodies. Uh, halfway broken. It's all good. I think the bass are not going to discriminate. They're going to be hungry. We might even try and throw some stuff on this rod. I don't know, y'all. It's going to be a fun time. Let's go break out the John boat. Thank you. <laughs> Did you get it? Break Might be time for a coffee, y'all. This is looking delicious. Good old cappuccino. Double shot. Whoa. That'll get you going. We're ready to fish y'all. Caffeinated and juiced up. All right, y'all. It is time. We have got the John boat out with the vintage, we'll call this a tackle box, full of ancient <laughs> lures right here. I would not doubt if some of these were 30, 40, 50 years old, maybe a couple of them here, but the one that received a lot of attention after an Instagram post was this guy. Apparently this is the Bill Dance, Dance and Eel. And I might have that wrong, but at some point in time it caught him his PB. The hooks were a little rusty. Hopefully they don't break. I don't know how deep it dives. And my main concern out here today is that a lot of these are geared towards top water. We do have this spoon which we could kind of drop down or we could flutter it back in almost like a crank as well. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know the action on a lot of these. Some of these might have to wait till sunset, but if the top water bite is not on today, we might be in trouble. If I had to talk about the ones I'm most excited about fishing, and Devin's behind the camera, she's uh, pretty pumped to fish these as well. We got a lot of rods on deck just because we don't know what's gonna be the best uh, setup for each bait in particular. I would say my top three choices are gonna be this blade, just something completely different that I never throw, the eel, and then this like, 
basically musky bait, I think. <laughs> if this thing gets a hit, it could be a double digit that hits this thing. Look at that treble hook. Devin's asking what the Dalmatian one is. It looks like a torpedo. He's got two trebles. Wait, does he swim backwards? It almost seems like a chatterbait the way it's rigged up to the, we'll call it a blade, but it's, it's not really a blade. This is crazy. And then the last one I'm pretty excited about actually is this guy right here, because I feel like it operates exactly like a buzz bait. And it's like just this all wooden design. So really cool. So we've got a lot to look forward to. It is time. Let's go ahead and rig up. Almost forgot we also have the vintage rod right here with the crazy reel seat. I don't know if we have a reel that is going to work with this. We're gonna try and rig this thing up later. It's a five foot, six inch, potentially two piece rod. We might be able to catch something on this. Gonna have to wait and find out. All right, y'all. Rigged up. I'm just gonna call this the Dalmatian because we have absolutely no, it has no lettering, no brands, nothing on it. Uh, got a lot of cracks. I was like, does it float? Does it sink? It tried to sink really fast on me. We almost actually didn't even get it tied on before we lost it. It looks like a crankbait, right? It's got a good wobble. Something I've never even seen before. If you guys have seen anything like this or used it, please let us know down in the comments. I would be really interested to know. I'm starting off with this big old spoon. Crazy. Devin's already casting hers out. Let's get a move on here. Don't break the rod. You had a head. Oh, I think he's on. Is your line? I can't tell. I can't tell. Do you have a fish or not? No fish. Oh, oh you do have a fish. Oh, oh you caught a bluegill on it. The zebra thing. Oh what is God. it? Dalmatian. <laughs> the Dalmatian caught oh a bluegill. Oh my God, this guy straight up. They indeed do work. Ah. Oh, I had a Stop. I had a hit. Really? Better fish. No way. <laughs> Cranking them. <laughs> oh my god. Give me one on this spoon. <laughs> hey, that's a good <laughs> sign though. They're, they're eating the moving bites. Oh, do I have a fish now? No. I got. Okay, my hook was all messed up. <laughs> well. Oh, fish. Fish on. Fish on the spoon. Oh Flipping God. them. Oh, one on the golden spoon, y'all. There you have it. That is crazy. Making it happen on the vintage goodies. Oh, another fish. Back to back. But I think it's another little one. What is going on? They're smacking the blade. Double up. Double up on the antique lures on the junk. No way. There goes him. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. We're gonna go ahead and switch it up. We've got a whole variety of baits in this antique tackle box. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss on this bad boy. Uh, nickname for it, I think we're gonna go with the Torpedo. Super rusted out exposed hook. Let's just see if we can catch a fish on it, shall we? I think I'm gonna tie on what I believe to be a musky bait and see if it'll work for bass. This is crazy, man. But hey, they're hitting weird stuff today. I think it's close to the bank. <laughs> giant musky would just attack this thing they've never seen this no one would be dumb enough to throw this this probably looks like a uh, a red crappie to them or something <laughs> bass they love red i hear throw red in the fall so look if i was gonna throw a red crankbait or uh, a spinner bait with some red or i was gonna throw this i don't know i mean it's a lot of flash it's oh i was gonna say the advantage we have is that it's windy and they can barely see it's a freaking bass on that vintage musky bait from the flea market I Love the flea market. I'm throwing this some more. We're trying to soak this up and take it in just a little bit. That just happened. The treble hook is almost bigger than the bass. Straight braid. It's murky out here. All the flash drew them in. The red color, I, I've heard so much about red in the fall. Uh, so if you want to know the best bait for fall, go ahead and shoot on over to wherever you can buy some big old pike or musky baits. And honestly, the barb on this hook is so big, I think I need the pliers. It's like not going to come out. The hooks on this are like broken, y'all. It's like reverse frog hooks. There's two that are up here on this side, like pinched together. And then this one is all by itself. I might have gotten extremely lucky, but that's not gonna stop me from throwing this because if there's a five today that wants to bite, I think it's hitting this. That thing like really kicks uh, sometimes. There it goes. Oh my gosh, it looks like a rat's tail. That's crazy. I really was not expecting that, actually. It looks good. Don't lose that one. <laughs> that one has good action. We might actually catch a big one on that. You might be able to fool a big one with that thing. Oh, there he is, got him. Yep, that's good. Yep, there he is. That's like a three plus. That's a good one. He might be bigger than three. Oh my, oh, oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh, that was a good one on the big musky deal. Oh, oh, last second by the boat. Oh my goodness. Hey, that's kind of how musky is hit, right? 
that's that was how they hit like they'll get you right at the boat if you do it just right and there's another one that <gasps> almost got you in the face almost got you in the face they're loaded they're loaded what is going on it's just like a big old spinner bait y'all i have a fish i have a fish oh, 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 oh. <laughs> try and keep us <laughs> Nothing like what you had hooked up a second ago. Ah, first fish on the dancing eel. Bye, bye. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh shoot. Oh no. It's going. Got this thing tied on, it's kind of like a buzz bait. I would say this was built before they were perfected, but it does look good. What I've noticed is sometimes this little o-ring right here it just look it kind of has resistance and it stays crooked so it doesn't work properly it doesn't always straighten out like you need it to but the blade works good oh gosh dang just had the first hit in a while y'all i was wondering if the top water is just not going to happen but you got to get in the cover we came over to these trees things were looking promising yeah all right is that the biggest one landed of the day? I think it's gonna be. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Devin switched it up. We've been throwing the top water and it hasn't been getting too many hits. We had our curiosities if they were down low. So she broke out one of our favorites, the Guggen Baits. Uh, it's the Lunker Log right here. And sure enough, it gets the biggest one of the day. You gonna swim away? You good? <laughs> oh, he's good. Oh, second time you get splashed today. <laughs> Lunker Log, y'all. GuggenSquad.com, code Weston saves you 10%. How on earth does this work? Now, how do I tighten this? Is that working? Yeah. No way. No way. <laughs> Look at the line's like gonna be super low. This is a casting rod. I'm gonna use my Hummer blade to tighten this thing down. We're gonna try and use this rod now. Look at that. It's working. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of breaking the blade though. Uh oh, that's not good. I don't want to do that. <laughs> well, Hummer blade's probably not gonna work as good now. That's a bummer. Oh my God, this thing is so flimsy. I need that zebra crate thing. It is a two piece rod because these eyelets aren't lining up. We're gonna try and close things out strong. We're going with the double vintage rig right here. <laughs> we got the dancing eel. It's time for me to get in on the action. And we have the old 5.6 Johnson rod. Check her out. I don't know how I got the SLX to fit on there, but it, it's cranked down. We'll see if it comes off the real seat. We'll see if this rod holds up. All I know is it's such a flimsy rod that uh, almost nothing is gonna work on this thing. But something that kind of cranks and has some treble hooks could actually be the best option. So, uh, golly, the balance, this, this feels so weird. We're gonna give it a shot. Let's try and close this thing out strong with a big one. How on earth, got, like, I mean, this is weird. Ah, casting, interesting. <laughs> okay, basically I'm gonna hold this rod tip up. <laughs> this rod is so awkward. <laughs> the balance, <laughs> what balance? I need to adjust my real settings because it's a little, backlashy sick this thing is harder to use than five dollar walmart zebcos i don't know i feel like this could have been an expensive rod back in the day i'm kind of like surprised i haven't got a bite yet oh fish oh i'm getting hits oh oh Fish, fish, fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. <laughs> Look at this rod. You think it was a 10 pounder? Got him on the double treble. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. What do you have here? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, nice. Why are the big fish not hitting the antique stuff? Got this guy. Another double up. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, nope. Grass. Can't tell with this rod. There's no feedback. Oh, got him. Oh, he came off. I had a hit. There's a fish. I got another fish on antique goodies. I really don't want to catch you though. You're so tiny. Oh, there was a fish. No, I got him. There we go. This one could be a little bit better. All right. Boat flips only on the old rod. <laughs> You're free. Zoop. 
<laughs> and there you have it y'all what a video we had a lot of fun filming this one if you enjoyed it let us know if we should do some more videos similar where we go and pick out some antiques some old some vintage baits rods reels whatever you have in mind drop those comments and always remember the number one way to support us over here on the channel besides the subscription or dropping likes on the videos is also to go ahead and grab some merch grab some new baits grab some new rods from guggensquad.com using our code weston for a 10 percent discount it is the holidays now y'all you know what they're saying about shipping every single year it seems like it's getting tighter and tighter especially with all this stuff going on you want to make sure you've got your goodies picked out well in advance so go ahead and check it out and we'll catch you guys on the next episode we got a lot of exciting stuff coming your way we're about to go out of state head up nashville tennessee see you then